Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the channel today. It appears the mighty little Honda CT125 has got a bit of a uh, leak in the front tyre. So a couple of days ago I uh, noticed it when I was just going out for a ride. Couldn't go anywhere because it was a bit risky. It was probably down to only just a few pounds. So two days back I pumped it up to 30 pounds. And uh, I checked it earlier and I'll just show you the reading now. So uh, in fact we might even do it now. Just recheck it again. So um, as far as things go, I've got two choices at the moment before we swing on to that. First one would be pull the wheel, take it down and possibly get a new tube fitted. And that'd be the easier way out, I suppose, and more safer one. Or well, the second one is I can try this uh, slime product for tube tyres and just see how that performs. Because it's only a very slow leak. It's not even be a slightly pinched tube when the uh, new tube was fitted to these tyres. But whatever the case is, what I might do is uh, give you a bit of a look at the reading at the moment, where it's dropped roughly uh, five to eight pounds, something like that, and we'll go on from there. So what I think we'll first do is swing the wheel around to the valve, and then we can do a, uh, a PSI check. We did have 30 pounds in it a couple of days back. Yeah, so it looks like now I've got 20 pounds in it, so it has dropped a few pounds, so I suppose it'll be a good test that way. The one I purchased was the tube sealant. Shows down here, dirt bikes. Now they make two different sorts. They make one for cars, which is naturally or tubeless type tyres. Now I've been told that one won't work in a tube tyre, or it won't work properly, or if at all. So I got back onto the site and said, go for the one that says tube sealant. So this is one we're going to try. Apparently different ingredients or how they make it up or how they put it together, but still looks the same colour. But um, apparently just this one does work. So, uh, one thing about this stuff is uh, got all the instructions on there. I did notice here at the top, if you remove this top piece here, you can take your valve out with this so you don't have to go looking for one. And there's your tube here, building under here, you just pull that out, probably undo the package here or the wrapper on the outside, pull that one out and we'll go from there. Now if you just buy the one unit, it's going to cost you $20 Australian to buy, where this one I bought, uh, it'll handle front and back, and it costs roughly $30, so uh, bought that super cheap. Now we'll just get this air out of the tyres, now they did say, and I've already moved it up anyway, to swing the tyre up to around the 3 o'clock position. So I've got the uh, wheel or tyre back up here in the three position. Because I did say you make sure you remove all the air from the tyre. She'll be down a bit now so she'll be able to just get it out. If we come here we should be able to peel this one off. Get out tube out. Let's come up to this section here. Unscrew the lid. I've already given this a bit of a shake. I don't know whether you're supposed to shake them or not, but I did a pre-shake on it. So we've got there. Got that back on. Slide this right down. Now if you look here on the side of this container, so you've got your slimes up to here. Tells you if you're doing it too two bikes so uh, I only have to bring it down to this area halfway down. I've been told these are pretty uh, messy when you do it but we'll see how things go. Oh well, so far so good. Apart from a few white cockatoos flying over. I don't know if we can zoom in a bit and just see the ingredients that are being tossed in. Check it. So that should be about it. So I'll remove the unit. Looking, checking it up now. 
Yeah, I think I've pretty well got it at the halfway mark. So I've still got half left to do the back tie. I've got some cotton buds here, so I'm going to take these down here to make sure I've got a clear channel in there. So I want to put the valve back in. I don't have any seating problems or any rubbish blocking that up. Get the valve back in place. Use the adapter. Seated in pretty tight. I'm going to run this back up to uh, 30 pound and give her a spin. And just in case you guys are wondering why I'd go to all this trouble to uh, do this, like in a couple of weeks time I want to take this bike to a really rough place around here where I'll have really no support once I get in there because I'll be going there by myself. So I think this slime idea in the tube tyre might be a a little bit of insurance for me for when I go there everything runs all right and it may be a good backup but we'll see what happens in that line so we'll pump her up like I said I'm going to take it up to 30 We got ten. So we're just going to pump this up in real time. We're on twenty. Twenty-five. And that's on thirty now. Put the bell cap back on. The instructions were spin the wheel a few times. Okay guys, the job's complete now and I've uh, put the slime into the front wheel or front tyre. So what I might do now, I might actually do the back and it'll be the same procedure. So I might as well do both while I'm at it. The idea behind this is, like I said earlier on in this clip, a couple of weeks or so time I'll be going out into a really rough area where I haven't been before or never been there in my life and I know it's going to be a fairly tough ride in there so I really won't be riding in there with any backup or anything like that I'll be just going by myself and I've ordered a new uh, follow me drone to come along on the trip with me so that uh, I can get actual aerial shots of the bike going along in the scrub itself so if anything, this slime in the tyres and providing the works alright in tube tyres is gives me a little bit more assurance that I'll be uh, maybe a little bit better off. You wouldn't want to get into this place and strike a puncher in, on a trip anyway. You'd be in a lot of trouble because I think the track will probably go 50 or 80 kilometres in there so it's not a place where you want to be in with no backup support or anything like that. So the idea will be trial this now over the next few days and I'll get back to you and just see how well this holds there in the front wheel and like I said it's going into the back too so uh, still got a little bit left there in the bottle to do the back so what we'll do is uh, hold tight and just wait and see what happens and I'll test this over the next few days do a tyre check then and just see if I've lost any air compared to what I'd lost before Apart from that, this is a really great little bike to ride, but 
Not so much with this crap in it. Okay, let's hit the dirt. Yes, overall I don't think it feels quite as stable on the dirt now either. So guys, I'm Eddie now, been up along this road here, swinging back around that way there. I've given the bike a reasonable test now with the slime in it on dirt. Uh, I find it's not quite as stable as what it was prior to putting the slime in on the dirt and it's still got a little bit of a wobble in the steering. So even though you might be solving the problem with the puncture side of things, it's affected the steering that much. In all honesty, I don't really like it at all. So I'll seriously have to think about whether I want to ride this rough section I had plans on doing at a later date with this slime in the tyres, in the tubes, or rip the tubes out, put new tubes in it, and just take me risk the other way and hope for the best. And maybe use a patch-up can if it helps and uh, bring that along and just insert air in that way with the other sealant in it. That may be a better idea but uh, with the riding experience so far going back out along the road there in the bitumen before it turned into here the bike what went into several wobbles along the road and uh, you know the riding experience just wasn't good so uh, my opinion still holds on this. Not worth putting in. Maybe if you're around town I'm going to try a little bit of a ride on the way back and just see how it handles it on the seal stuff up to say normal speed in town at around about 30 mile an hour something like that and see if it induces it then when I come back into the town area but apart from that it's not really uh, my opinion not really worth putting in there uh, just for the sake of saying uh, it might help you with a puncture because you will uh, ruin a ride experience on your bike anyway so uh, if it's going to be like that you might as well not ride the bike so uh, I would think at this stage stay away from it put your money somewhere else and uh, I suppose you could probably go for more heavier duty tubes, that may be a way out of it, but at this stage, don't like this stuff at all. I think I'd have more problems too, I've been told at times, bike shops don't like touching tyres with slime in it, and I might even have to pull these wheels off myself, get the uh, tube out, and then take it down and let them put a couple of new tubes in, because I don't want the experience of changing it myself. So, uh, you know, you've got a few problems there, but the experiment's been easy, like... Uh, like I said, it's still holding air as far as that goes, so 
if you were just going into a bit of rough country for the first time and wanted to solve it but afterwards you got a lot more problems with what you had compared to when you first started off and at the moment I figure I've got a couple of problems so. okay guys we're ready to roll so we'll run this bike down the road No cars, we are ready to go. Okay, I've just experienced the first wobble there at 75 k. Now cruising at 80. Another wobble there. A really bad wobble here. Right along there. Just like wobble left and right. I only ran the bike to 85, so, and it's wobbling now. Now it's wobbling again. It appears around 75 kilometres an hour GPS. Bike's really unstable. <laughs> 